All right, so let's talk a little bit more about urban movement. Um, so if you saw the last couple videos, I made reference to an urban movement blog post. And in that post, we talked about ha setting up a smartphone uh, for covert communications. And we have last week's um, uh, post was specifically about how to set that up. Uh, so let me show you the smartphone I have here um, and the setup. So basically just keep it in a Ziploc bag um, just for whatever. Uh, wrapped in four layers of tin foil um, that serves as an, to protect from RF emissions. Um, this does the same thing as a store-bought um, bag. The advantages to the store-bought bag or to a, or a commercial bag is that um, this is a pain in the ass to have to uh, unravel your, your phone all the time. It's not 100% guaranteed, whereas something like this is definitely going to work much better for people. Um, so for the occasional use or like a backup phone, um, you know, having the ability to kind of do a DIY or kind of makeshift setup is, is fine. Um, one thing you'll note is uh, I've got tape over the, um, over the video uh, camera. Um, and then, so if there's any malware um, installed on the computer or on the phone or, or any kind of infiltration, um, then, you know, certainly that would help from keeping the video. And then from audio, we have just a standard uh, headphone jack. Basically, the, the big thing with this is you want to make sure that you cut uh, the wires back and then secure them so that they're not going to touch in case um, it shorts out on your devices. And then what I do is I just add, I added some extra tape um, onto the back or around this. And then on the back of the phone here is a NFC tag uh, that I can use for multiple different things, um, whether it be a, a simple dead drop to um, passing on emergency information, a whole host of, inf of, of neat things you can do with these, uh, programming my phone to do different things. So it's it, they're pretty handy to have. So uh, the phone, the jack, um, an RF... Uh, shield of some kind and then it's important to note if you read the blog post you're never going to use this for making any phone calls you're just going to use this for Wi-Fi through a secure VPN um, and it's always kind of on the go so it gives you some information while you're or intelligence or whatever you want to call it while you're moving through a non-permissive environment so the more commercial version of this kit is the uh, Mission Darkness bag. Um, I've got uh, this is a mic lock um, that basically just has a little rubber sleeve and does essentially the same thing um, as my DIY. Um, this bag is, if you'll see this bag featured in many of my blog posts from non permissive environments to urban movement to burner phone use. Um, there is a plethora of different types of things that you can use with this, do with this bag. Um, definitely uh, highly recommend it. Um, you know, if you need something quick in a pinch, the tinfoil works. But if you need something really bomber, really um, multiple, multiple, multiple functional, then go with uh, the, the Mission Darkness bag from Stately Asset Protection. Um, so with that, hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions.